So we're going to look at importing a text file into R. And in particular, we're going to look at importing a comma separated variable file that uh, we previously exported from Excel. And in this video, we're going to look at just using the, the basic R functions. And in a second video, we will look at using some of the R Studio functionality to do the same thing. So we want to save our commands in an, an R script. And I've already started off um, a template R script called my script, which we're going to use as a basis. So that already has a little header, has my name in it, and I have a command to set the working directory. So I'm going to type control and return to send that set working directory command into the R console here at the bottom. And now we're going to have to add in the code that will import our data set. So the data is on the desktop, which is why we set the working directory to there. And the data file is called leadfish underscore cleaned dot CSV. So we give the basic command to read spreadsheet like data. That's read dot table. And then we give it a file name. So this is leadfish. Now the easiest way of finding out file names is to start typing them and then to press tab. And RStudio will offer you all completions that correspond to what you've started to type. So you see here I've got a uh, three files. There's the, the original Excel file, leadfish.xls. There's the cleaned up Excel file. And then there's the, the CSV file that we exported from Excel. So I'll select that CSV file. I know because I've looked at it in a text editor that the first row is a line of names of the variables. So that's a header. So another argument for this command is that the header is equal to true. And then we have to tell it that the, the separators between the different variables are commas. So we set sep is equal to. And we put a comma in between quotes. So the quotes here are quite important, both in the separator and in the name of the file, because quotes are used to uh, define plain text. If it's not in quotes, I will interpret it as, as some kind of a command. So that, that's the basic command. Um, and usually you can just copy that, and all you have to do is change the name of the file, and it will read in common separate available files. So let's uh, see if that works if we type control return. So that, so in the console, we get the output from the command, which is, which is the data read in. So you can see that it's read in the three variables. And it's also read in a whole lot of other blank data. And if you remember back when we looked at the file in a, in a text editor, like, like Notepad++, we saw that Excel had added additional commas at the end of every line. And they're going to be interpreted as additional variables, but they're blank, so they'll have no data. So that's what R's done here. It's seen them as, as no data, and it's put missing, missing data, or NA, in each of those columns. So that's something we're going to have to clear up before we start using the data. And the, only, the last thing to do is, if we want to use this data, we want to assign these, this data to have a name so we can refer to it in the future. So we're going to call it leadfish. And we type that at the start of the line, and we say that leadfish is going to be equal to the output from this importing command. So I'm now going to execute that. And what that does, if we look over here in the top right, it adds a new variable to our R um, environment called leadfish. And it tells me that it has 62 observations. That's the number of rows of data and it has 10 variables. So the first three of those are the useful data, and the remaining seven are these blank data that are due to the trailing commas in the file. And that's it.